Hey everybody, Thomas Armstead here. I want to do a Hip Hop Hustle Part 2. Uh, one of the things I didn't get to go over in the video, um, the first video about immigrant hustle and ghetto hustle, hip hop hustle, um, is that the hip hop hustle coming from the hood and you know trying to make a better world for yourself, your family, and future generations, um, part of it is very akin to the immigrant hustle because the immigrant is coming from obviously by definition um, a different country into a, a new society, a new culture, a new language and when you come from the hood and you go outside the boundaries of the hood it's like you're like an immigrant. You're dealing with people who have different backgrounds, different upbringing different expectations different standards and i want people to understand something i went away to a prep school and i met some of the most wonderful people in the world who their parents has zillions of dollars and i met some people who i i, I immediately did not want to associate with just like in a poor neighborhood there's fantastic people you know jesus was born homeless born in a barn basically um and there's also terrible people. There's good people wherever you go, terrible people wherever you go. Good people do bad things, bad people do good things sometimes. So there is that you're an emigre from the hood when you go into the larger society, like Wall Street and education, going to college and work. I remember one time I was on the train, the subway in New York. cigar break and a woman was saying oh I don't hang out with my friends from the hood because we always get into a fight they always get into fights and I don't want to down everybody from the hood you know 99% of the people are wonderful just like everywhere but she said I only hang out after work with people from my job because I, I know we're not going to get into a fight and I was that was shocking to me you know and I'm somebody who I'm about giving back and there, there are people who I've met in my life. I say, you know what? Even if you move to another hood, you got to get out the hood because when people knock on your door, a lot of times they're coming with their problems. They call, you know, the hood uh, depressed areas and they're talking about economically, but it's not just economic because when you are stressed out over, you know, money, you are depressed, right? I'll never forget one time I was on... Uh, Jerome Avenue and I literally saw a man and a woman and their child must have been about four or five years old like digging in the garbage man I wanted to cry I may have cried I, I had like I was like 21 22 years old so I only had like three four dollars in my pocket I literally gave them my last money and I saw the woman start crying you know it was just like one of those unbelievable experiences so it scarred me um, but when you come from that, when you come from the hood and you go to the larger world, you are like an immigrant. You have to new, learn a new language, a new style of dress. And things have changed a lot. Like Goldman says, you don't have to wear a tie anymore. But, you know, before the last 10, 15 years where men at least didn't have to wear ties and, you know, casual dress became part of the norm because of hip hop, the hip hop industries and because of digital world and people being casual and Zuckerberg wearing a hoodie. I love that. But, you know, it wasn't always like that. It was one of those things where, you know, you're coming into a whole new realm and you have to adapt and still maintain your own identity. And some people lose their identity. You know, my hair is big. And when I, you know, work in finance, you know, I slick back my hair and make it neat. And someone once said to me in a store when my hair was wild, I was like 17, 18, 19. He was like, oh, you can't go downtown and get a job with your hair like that. And back then it was true. And now it's not true, not as true. Um, so it's just very interesting thinking about the immigrant hustle, not versus the ghetto hustle, the hip hop hustle, but the similarities where when you're coming from the hood, you know, you are going into another world and another culture and you have to have your force field of positivity up and there are going to be people who don't like you for any reason but one reason is because you're from the hood and maybe slang comes out every once in a while even though they know what you mean and a lot has changed because we have, you know, 40 years of hip-hop and 30 years of hip-hop being mainstream and 20 years of hip-hop being a dominant cultural force especially when it comes to music and rap 
and so a lot has changed but a lot hasn't changed and that's just something to keep in mind i would love to get your thoughts on the hip-hop hustle and being an immigrant to the mainstream culture when you are from the hood have a fantastic day peace 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 peace